Hi, welcome to the lesson on case logic. And in this lesson, I want to introduce you to how you can utilize case logic within MySQL. Case logic is SQL's version of an if then else statement. And it really is nothing more than that. So let's uh, dive in and first let's have a look at the syntax itself. And the first case example that I put together is really meant to kind of get you acclimated with the syntax for case logic itself. So case logic consists of uh, the keyword case and it ends with the end keyword followed by an alias name for our column if we're using it up in within a select and then within the case statement we have one or more when then clauses followed by an optional else at the end and so just like if then else logic if none of the when then conditions are met our else statement will get uh, executed. So if we look at uh, this case logic in context of the query we'll see when the course designator is like wildcard 100 then put the literal string introductory course. Uh, if it's like 200, then it's an intermediate course. If it's like wildcard 300, then it's an advanced course. Else, don't put anything out there. And you can see it works like a champ. You'll also note that there's not a real good data set in this database to support testing all of the conditions. And frankly, that would be a big shame on me for, for not doing that. Uh, it's, uh, I believe that falls under the category of uh, do as I say, not as I do. So I, I apologize for not having adequate data in the database to do that. Maybe when we get into the future lesson where you're adding database, I'll have you do that and then you can come back and, and, and test this, this query out. Again, see that it works properly, which by the way it does. He says so brazenly. Okay, uh, now let's uh, let's kind of expand on case and start to look at some interesting things that you can do with with a case statement, and we'll go have a look at case two. If we look at the output, what we are doing is we're formatting phone number, and so if we were if you were to go and analyze all of the data in the phone column, what you would find is there's just a 10-digit phone number followed, or just a raw 10-digit phone number that's going to be stored. And if no phone number was entered, you're going to see all these padded zeros in, in the field itself. So in our case statement here, a little variation of it, our case statement is followed by the column that we want to evaluate throughout our case statement. So instead of having to reference it in each one, we're saying case phone. And then everything, all of our when then or our else is going to be applied to the column that we're looking at dealing with. So in this case, the whole point, no pun intended, uh, the whole point of this case statement would be instead of returning back this as a record set, I just want to return back the phone, the phone number. And let me uh, run it so you can see that it actually works with the logic that's up here. Okay, so case, phone, so we're applying against case. When it's all zeros, then plug in the literal string, no phone number on record, else, and then we want to concatenate and format our phone number, however it is we want to form format it. And end as phone. So the idea is I might 
want to return this as a record set instead of the actual phone data because it's a little bit better. And maybe I don't want to return this string. I just want to return bubkiss, nothing. I don't want to return anything back. And so I can do something like that. And this data set's a lot cleaner to whoever's asking for it than a data set that looks like this. All right, let's uh, troll on to our third case statement. And for this one, we can use case to accomplish, to accomplish some string manipulation, which is essentially what we've done here. So just another variation of that. In, in this case, in my column, admit time, and I'm going against the hospitalization table now, and in particular against this field called admit time, which really isn't a time field per se, but it's a four character field. What you see is I have military time entered, but it's not really formatted. And let's say I want to format it. And also you can't see in the data, but if it's, if it's 2400, it would be actually returned as two characters. So if it was 2412 was the hour, it would just come back as the number 12. So how would we format this data? Well, we can take a case statement and we can say, hey, when the length of the admit time column is 2, then let's concatenate two leading zeros with a colon followed by the admit time. If the length is 3, like it is here, well, then let's concatenate and uh, pull the substring for the for the first uh, character, followed by also concatenating the colon, followed by the rest of the string. And if it's four in length, then we could concatenate where we need to get the first two characters. followed by a colon, followed by the remainder of our date time string. So kind of a handy dandy means of doing business there. Okay, so let's look at the last case example I have. In this one I call, if we want to, we can use case to conditionally display different columns in a single column. Now I didn't really have a good example to use for this, a good business context example, but I still wanted to show you this because this can be a powerful thing. So for example, I have a case statement here that says when the type code is equal to B, then we want to see the ID. So our case statement, which is this column called department, when my type code, and, and why don't we just add this on so you can, whoops, so you can see it. Let's add in type code, the column, so you can see what it looks like. There we go. Let's run that. So, okay. So when the type code is equal to B, then we want to display in this column the ID field. Else, we want to display the name field. So as long as the type code is equal to B, we want to display this column in this column, but if it's not equal to B, then we want to display this column over in this column. So an, another way where when you're working with columns where you have denormalized data, where this could come in handy, you can take a case statement to pull it together. Um, I, I, to give you an example of this, I was working against a database where there was a time field for if the pa that was stored if the patient was seen in the emergency department. There was another field within the same row which was the time that the patient was seen anywhere other than the emergency department. And the requirements of the query that I was asked to write was to see it all in one column. Well, it lived in two separate columns. So, gosh, how do, how do you pull that one off? Well, you pull it off just like I showed you here by creating a case statement 
saying, you know, when the data is populated in this field, I want to see the date. If it's not, then I want to see this other date. And now I'm able to summarize data that is denormalized into multiple columns into a singular column. And that covers for us, for you I should say, use of case. And you can head off and uh, do your exercises. And I'll see you on the flip side later.